Okay, so I uh, I'm gonna open this in a new window. There we go. All right, so uh, I'm quite happy to actually explain yet another titano fork. Uh, you know, surprisingly, we've been finding some pretty good titano forks lately. You know, especially in uh, these current market conditions. So first things first, I actually bought a little bit of this today. I think I can say the number. I bought, I think, $600 worth. I think this is, that should be before the tax, and the buy tax is like 12% or something. I will get to it later. Uh, so uh, I'm not going to go over what I normally go over, because, I mean, again, it's just you know no real point. But the reason why I like this is because, all right, so the first, first off, it's actually 2.35% a day, so and I checked the documentation. This is always going to be 2.35%, so it's still slightly higher than Titano, right? Because um, Titano is just like Sphere 1.91% a day, right? Of course, the APY gets really crazy, all right? So let's see, you get uh, whatever this is, 481,000. All right, I'm going to write the real number in the YouTube description, but I just don't want to say this whole number. All right, uh, so the reason why I bought this project, because two reasons. This one's really subtle. Oh, I didn't know this thing would change if you click this. <laughs> That's pretty funny. The reason why, this is really subtle, but I do like that they use a much smaller number here for some reason, maybe because it's just... I don't know, more, more believable, I guess. So, there is, yeah. So there is a uh, anti-dump mechanism. Now I know I happen to know this doesn't actually kind of it doesn't exactly work, right? Because this is exactly what they had in DAOs, right? Where they, I forgot the name of it. I know I might have covered them like earlier this year or late last year, but when I was still in DAOs, because I was in Metaverse Pro, and then of course, you know how that disaster turned out. So there were some DAOs that actually had a, uh, like a limit to how much you could sell per day. Uh, and they did like, you know, one to 5%. Now the reason why this doesn't work ultimately is because when everybody wants to dump, that's all that's gonna happen. Everyone's just gonna keep dumping. So this project will still have that problem, but with that being said, you're still limited to 5% a day. Now I couldn't find it in their documentation, but supposedly it could, the, the restriction could go down as low as 1% of the day. So what this basically means is like Sphere should have something like that, all right? Instead of what we have now where basically everyone can just dump however much they want. Like the 500k limit literally does nothing. You just do multiple 500k cells until you're you're done dumping. So and there's no time limit on that. So the reason why that you can see this thing just going straight to the moon is specifically because of this, right? Well, you want to dump. Well, guess what? You can't because you're because you have to spend 20 days constantly dumping. So 20 days might as well be like you know 20,000 years, you know, in, in cryptocurrency space. So. So that's 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 pretty much it. These are the only two reasons why I bought this token. All right. Well, that well, I guess the third reason is I can also tell that this obviously works, and I look at the price action. Yeah, it actually it's actually working. All right. You know. So you know you 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 just can't dump. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I guess I'll just link to the app, but. Now there is another thing I need to caution. I actually could not actually find because I only saw this on rabbit holes, and all he did was link to the stupid app, right? He didn't actually link to the home page, so I had to Google this. Now, I, now it did not it did not say add, and this was the first result. But I do need to caution. I'll make sure I write this in the description. Someone needs to like quadruple check that this is the actual website, right? And then I took the contract address up here, right? And it does take me to what looks like the real lock pay contract. It just does look correct, 3066. The URL points back to here. But, I mean, it pays to just, you know, be safe because, you know, maybe this is the phishing site version, right? But I'm, I'm like 99% sure this is the actual real domain, lockpay.financial. I mean, it sounds correct. So, yeah. And, of course, uh, I mean, yeah. Yeah, you have Twitter and stuff. 
which shows up over here. Uh, and they actually have some pretty, they actually have a very good engagement too. They're actually pretty active on their Twitter as well. Yeah. I don't know, I'll hit the like button. Actually, I better not because the algorithm's going to send me like all these spammer F words and I don't like that. By the way, like I, I you know, people still spam me, not often, but once in a while, I immediately block them. So, you know, if you're doing like, hey, tag three people and you get a cash out, I'm going to fucking block you. So don't do that. All right. That, that really annoys the shit out of me. You, you're, you're literally providing me no value. You spam my notifications and replies. And you don't even follow me or like me or like or, you know, retweet my stuff. You're literally just here just to be a parasite. I really don't like parasites, all right? Actually, I hate parasites, so don't do that, all right? Don't, 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 don't tag me in your, you know, your, your thing, all right? Don't do that. Right? So, you know, my channel may be for winners, but so is my Twitter. But I actually use the Twitter because I need to filter through all my crap. Right, and it doesn't help that I'm still constantly. Actually, what am I down to? Like, how many people have they removed? Actually, I should probably refresh this page because they already took out like 80 people. Yeah, I'm down to 30,622. Yeah, I'm literally, even though I have people following me, following me, right? My overall follower count still keeps going down. So, I, I can't wait for Elon Musk to buy this, you know, stupid S, this track, you know. <sighs> I wish we had free speech, right? Yeah, but. Oh, well, people don't like it. They only want it for themselves and for no one else. That's how it always goes. Uh, oh, yeah, they do have a 3.5% auto burn. So that's also very good. You know, you know, obviously, we'll like to see a higher number. But 3.5 is, you know, hey, better than nothing, right? And it's higher than what everyone else does. So the tokenomics on this is uh, looks really, really solid. All right, and let's see. So 12 to 14 percent for buys, 14 to 17 percent for sells. And you can see the breakdown here. Uh, lock pay max withdrawal limit is currently one percent of your total tokens every 24 hours. Yeah, so I'm a little confused because this was never really clearly explained. Is it five percent or one percent? Because this down here says it's one percent every 24 hours. Uh, up here, I, I know I skipped it. I know I skipped it. Oh my god. You know, I actually wanted to do this uh, stream recording without my shirt on, and of course the camera would be turned off, right? Because it's just, it's starting to get hot here in New York City, so. <clears throat> Yeah, see, it says you can cash out to 5% of your profits or tokens. Jeez, oh, how did I just simply miss this? Uh, yeah, see, it says 1% to 5%. It says... 5% a day. Yeah, so they say 5% a day up here, but down here it says 1%. So I actually just do not know. All right? I, I don't actually know. I'll just write one to 5% a day anti-dumping. All right? In the description. But All right, let's see. Uh, anti-dumping. Wow, they're even, they're even comparing themselves to Libero now, not even Seifu. I know Seifu has been under a lot of attack lately. Like price action wise, that is. It's coming back up a lot though, so that's good for them. Anti whale, one to five, sustainable growth chart, yes, you know, all the uh, auto stuff, and uh, no manual adjusting, so that's actually pretty good. And there is manual token buybacks. Oh, okay. I mean, at the rate things are going, they don't need to do that yet. <laughs> Alright, so for now, they can just cruise off with a 3.5% auto burn. Uh, but with that being said, let's see, after 12 months, yeah, that's actually a while. Huh. So I don't know. There's uh, there's no reduction in the interest rate that I can see. I'm liking the tokenomics, then the restrictions, and of course 2.35% a day, because eventually Sphere is going to have a lower APR, right, once Perpetual APY actually kicks in. Um, cause it's not Because technically the contracts lie for that, but... He, Sim did promise, I guess now it's three months remaining or something like that. Uh, the API will still be fixed as it is now, and then it'll start, you know, adjusting to what's supposed to be. All right. 
So, so yeah. So having a replacement for that is pretty nice. And on top of that, if let's see, what's Sphere doing right now? Sub seven four. Yeah, this this, 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 like Sphere is actually starting to act like a shit coin. Which is actually starting to get very irritating because it doesn't deserve to be like that. But again, there's just too much dumping pressure on Sphere right now. Yeah, I look at all these greens and they're and, and they're still getting dragged down by like small cells. I still had like and we still haven't even had the so-called liquidity engine dump on everybody yet either. Yeah, everything on my chart is basically green except Sphere. That's not something I want to be seeing. All right, so crypto's kind of slightly pulling back after going up a bit, but of course Binance Coin's kicking ass. Yeah, well, it's still pretty good. So let me see what the bond market's doing. All right, so it looks like today will just be like a reasonably good day. Nothing great, but good. In fact, the stock markets are going to do great today too. Yeah, because the dollar index is still... This is the other thing that's starting to annoy me. The dollar is way down. That's the DXY or the Dixie. There's no reason for Sphere or anything to be got down today. Uh, I mean, I would even consider putting, like, selling, like... If I had to dump all my Sphere, I would take, like, 33% of that and put it in just lock pay. <laughs> I mean, at this point, like, that looks like a better option for me right now. So, I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see. So anyway, check out LockPay Financial. Again, check to make sure this is the actual website. I think it is. If in doubt, you could just simply get the contract and look at the charts. But, I mean, this looks correct to me. So, hmm. Excuse me. And, and this thing says it was basically created 23, hour, uh, 23 days ago. All right, and already has quite a bit of liquidity in here. So, yeah, looks pretty good. Actually, yeah, if you look at the 24 hours, you know, look at the buy to sell ratio. It's extremely, it's extremely healthy. So I'm kind of curious to see how high lock pay can go. I do, I do assume that eventually there will be some kind of dumping, uh, crashing event. But again, people are only limited to 1% or 5% a day or something. So, yeah, I'm willing to, I'm willing to put money in those for sure, for sure. So anyway, definitely check out LockPay. I'm going to add this to the playlist, believe it or not, because I know Titano Forks are still basically like what everybody wants. Um, so, or a really good Tomb Fork, but literally no one does Tomb Forks anymore. At least no one's really covering them except maybe myself. And I only cover them very occasionally because there's just no point to Tomb Forks. Even though I, even though I like covering Tomb Forks, you yeah? know? But, yeah. Oh yeah, there's also this guy that's constantly talking over here, but uh, I, I always ignore that. It's just, I mean, again, that's just for the hype, so whatever. We're not here for the hype, we're here for the uh, legitness and the content. All right, in this case, it's really good content. I mean, just look at this, just look at this. How could this project be outperforming Sphere? Like, it's, it, it just, it's like... <sighs> I'm so frustrated. Oh well. That's why we kind of cover. That's why, just like the liberals, you know, you gotta just come up with new stuff all the time. Like this is why, right? This is why, because someone's the king of the world today, and then tomorrow they're like the pauper, right? They're the homeless guy. That's just how it goes, man. Uh, you know, things change so much, especially in crypto. You so you just gotta roll with the punches. But with that being said, you know, I'm sure Sphere's supposed to be coming back, so I don't know. I'll have confirmation. In two days, all right. We'll see what happens. If it's still, if it, if Bitcoin's like thirty-one thousand, thirty-two thousand by Wednesday, and everything else is, of course, AVAX is like forty-five bucks or whatever, and I still see, see Sphere at the bottom. I'm probably gonna dump it, even though I really don't want to. I'm probably gonna put it into Titano instead. I'll probably buy a lot more of LockPay, and then the rest will probably go in the Rocket Zone, and I'm just gonna be done with this bullshit. All right, which kind of annoys me, right? Because Sphere used to be so high up there, I like. I don't know. Maybe I can. I don't know. Maybe we'll have to actually discuss it in the Sphere Discord. You know, see if I can do something about the auto liquidity bullshit. Anyway, uh, definitely check out LockPay. This I think is definitely a winner. It's already proving to be a winner so far, and all of this thing does is go straight up, right? At this point, I don't care how it does it. It just needs to do it, and it's working very well. I mean, you could tell. If I set this to one day. 
This is what the one day chart looks like. Not a single red candle. Because you can't. Because <laughs> you can't. Right? And now that we know the overall market picture is people are buying up stuff in cryptocurrencies, we know this thing will just keep going up. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm done for the day. I want to keep today's video short. This one was a little more, more rambly, but that's okay because this is a really good project. So, anyway, uh, like, subscribe, share this video around. Definitely uh, promote it for me. All right, just share it. All right, don't be annoying and spam it, of course. All right, thank you again to all the old and new people watching this video and this channel. So, uh, welcome, welcome. And, uh, yeah, let's keep growing the channel, all right? So, just tell everybody about this, you know, because, hey, you know... Great if you get rich, but it's even better if you and everyone else gets rich too. You know, we gotta we'll help each other out, especially with all the crap that's about to come uh, down the pipeline. Because all we're gonna have is each other, right? So, because and there's safety in numbers, right? Safety in numbers. Don't don't be like us dumb Americans where we're hyper individualistic and look where that got us, right? So, yeah, we gotta work as a team. So you're on you're on Team Johnson here, all right? We have to come up with a better name eventually, but Team Johnson will work. All right, I'm done for the day. I want to do other stuff. It's 8.15. I got a lot of work to do, so. And maybe I want to take a walk, too, you know. You know, my body's been getting a lot of weight. You know, I need to, you know, get some more air. So, yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you, I think, tomorrow. We'll see if there's any new projects. If not, I'll just see you whenever there's new projects. Or maybe I'll do some independent research and we'll, you know, just pick some random projects, but. I don't know. Well, we'll take it a day at a time, but I'll definitely see you very soon. Thanks.